I'll walk through the middle school. Could you please speak up? Sorry, I can't hear you. So he, Jason just said there was no safety, there would not be any safety issues in the school zone. And that's partly because the call your code inspector will walk through before we get an occupancy. Yeah. But I, I walked through the middle school today and um, you know, I, I'm very comfortable in the classroom areas that they'll be ready to go. <coughs> you know, I, I think that what you're gonna see is some rough areas, particularly around the commons, the cafeteria area. This is my guess, not the structure background, but just looking at where things are. Um, and I, I could foresee much less things being done in the evenings yes. after we've arrived. So, um, but you know, when I look at it, most of the cabinetry is in most of the classrooms. It looks like the carpet's about to go down. It looks like the painting is done. I'm sure there's touch-up things when we get a punch list or anything. Yeah, but you know, as far as you know, having electricity, having our, our digital apparatuses, it looks like the, the cabling's all in. You know, Scott Kelly and his crew have been busy. So I, you know, my fear is workforce to get the move done in a timely manner um, because we need to have custodial retirements, as you recall. And uh, you know, some people were temporary workforce to meet, some are not going to be at the end of the summer. So. You know, I just spoke with Mr. Gold today about giving him some latitude to hire people as he needs, particularly for second shift. His temporary workers, we call for saving in our moving company. Uh, but I think the scramble might be less of a construction issue as it is moving two floors of furniture up one elevator. Uh, you know, and the things have to run continuously to get everything up. And, you know, right. We really have, in a perfect world, from the date they're supposed to hand it over to us, to the day the teachers show up, it's eight days, including the weekend. In a perfect world, all the teachers' furniture and boxes will be in the room when they arrive so they can start unpacking and be prepped for the first day of school. And so, you know, we're going to be trying to prioritize making sure we have critical things in the right spaces. But if you walk through our gyms right now, it's not really a choice of what you move first. It's the closest thing to the door go because of that act. So it's, it's really, uh, you know, Anyways, my gut is when I walk through there, it, 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 it's going to be moving, it's going to be a challenge. Uh, so it's going to be us committing uh, the extra workers in the evening to, to get it done. And, uh, I, I say evening because we might get the uh, we hiring student workers. Yeah. Yeah. Say you still do a lot of the yeah, sure. uh, we may actually go back to some of our teams here that are now back in session saying, you know, these eight days in the evening, uh, <laughs> you have a lot of kids, could you help us out? Yeah, right. We, you know, so hopefully somebody, uh, Young folks, uh, they're very excited about helping. And that was one of the ideas I was trying to get the third floor first. Uh, you know how much the elevator can be used. Um, so the plan clearly is to have that elevator functional on August 8th. Uh, and that third floor is the point that it's acceptable. It's a punch listed, and then you guys are comfortable moving in to help that process. I know we've talked about some other creative ways to. Such exact floor, right? Um, so we're going to that as well. Hopefully, we'll be up now. Essentially, the art terrace on the second floor, so we'll be able to move up to the art terrace. So, what what are you considering your critical date? August 8th or 18th? 18th? Uh, 18th is yellow. Um, yeah, it's right. yellow. Right. Um, again, but there are plans to get around that. If, Fail the session, we have to hire an operator and we still need to use it. We just have to pay that person. Think of that one. So if the elevator company fails inspection, we have to hire the elevator company to operate the elevator. Yeah, but it's not necessarily <laughs> the elevator. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I understood there. <laughs> well, they could be leveraged with their responsibility. Depends on why. Yeah, because <laughs> the, the plumber is like. Uh, and we can't play a role. I think it's a good idea that we've got some of the athletic teams. I, I mean, I know, you know you know the football teams in, in session. I know the hockey team is in their off ice conditioning and all that kind of stuff. And, and that's what I thought. We, you know, and my, one of my thoughts was because we posted and we've exhausted uh, those posting. One of my thoughts was to reach out to the booster organizations and see if dads and kids wanted to come have a couple of move nights and just to make the donation straight to the booster organization. I'm in. Uh, I'm we'll, we'll, get, we'll get a lot of bodies to move things right now. Right. Yeah. That's a good idea. And then 
they get the first look at the school. Yeah, right. As I say, <laughs> so, if you want to look at it, you have to move stuff. <laughs> you know, that goes for you too. I don't think the post because that's not going to free grass. 